Hey guys, welcome to part two of our classic pencil box series. In this video, I'm going to finish building the pencil box based on this side. And in the next video, we'll be doing the drawings, exporting this into an engineering drawing. Okay, so um, because I want to keep the video short, I will talk as I go, but I won't be explaining um, as much as in the previous videos because we are essentially repeating functions we've learned. Um, so what we're going to do is do the back as a new part, the front as a new part, mirror this, and then the base, and the lid, and the handle. Right, so a fair bit of work to get through. Let's get started. So we're going to start with the back here. So you can see um, the grooves are in the exact same place as the sides. The only difference is there are no rebates, and it's 120 mil long, not 240. Okay, so let's get that done. And if we look at this drawing over here, we can see that it's attached to this face on the inside of that rebate. So we want to start our sketch on that face. All right, let's go for it. Let's start with a new sketch. Sketch plane, I'm gonna pick this face over here. There we go. Right click, go normal to sketch plane. I'm not gonna use the rectangle tool, I'm gonna to use the line tool. I'm just gonna draw this by tracing. So we start here where it locks up. Go to that edge there. Right, make this some random height. Right. As you can see, those lengths aren't correct, so we're going to go and dimension them. So we want from here to there to be six. The channel is going to be three. The depth is going to be six. Okay, there you go. It's all black, fully defined. Now this one, the depth is going to be six. Already been done. Ah, do you see how everything goes red? That happens when a sketch is fully defined, right? So by putting that six there, this is already locked into the midpoint of that line. It won't let us modify the length further. So if it goes six, it means you're telling the computer more too much information. So just go ahead and control Z, undo that. And you can see that six is still there, but it's kind of grayed out, right? And let's get D and change that to three. All right, actually quite glad that happened. All right, so we're happy with that sketch. Just cross check it with this here. Well, we don't need to worry about that length because we essentially trace this and that rebate is 12 mil. All right, accept the sketch. Now here's the new thing that we are going to do. So we are going to select that sketch. But instead of clicking add, which makes it part of the initial part, we're going to click new. So that is a new part. And the length is 120. Enter. Green. Done. Okay. So you can see we've got a new part here now, which is that part there. So let's right click that. Rename to back and enter. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hide the origin now because we don't really need it. Okay, the next part I'm going to do is the front. So same deal, sketch, pick that face because it's all based on the same face. Your normal to sketch plane. The so front is essentially the back up to the bottom of that groove there. Okay, let's confirm that with our drawing. Yep, it's 33 mil tall. Same width, but everything's fine. We just have this channel at the bottom here. So we're going to do that. Line again, start there, draw a horizontal line to that edge, down, up, escape, to dimension, change that to six. Right, we're happy with that. Center that, there we go. Accept the sketch. Extrude. 
Big sketch five. Move it so we can see. Again, new part. 120. And it's a blind, that's fine. There we go. Okay. Now you can see we've got three parts here. Okay, we've got the left, the back, and the front. So right click, rename to front. Done. Before doing the left side, sorry, the right side, I'm going to do the base and the lid. Um, just because it makes it easy for me to see what I'm doing. So you can see the base is 120 by 228. Essentially got the 228 by making it fit from that line to that line. Okay. Um, for this, you can pick either one of these faces to start your sketch on, right? Or even that one. So again, sketch, pick that face. That's what I'm going to pick, right? Your normal sketch plane because we want to see the whole thing. It's going to be a lot easier using a corner rectangle here. Start on the corner, go up. Right, there we go. Or just make it whatever size. Escape D. Our length was 228. 228. And our width was 120. All right, done. So happy with that. If you look at it, it fits that rebate at the bottom quite well. And go ahead and click accept. You can see that the sketch is here. Now extrude, pick sketch six. If you've got more, it'll be a different number, but six for me. The depth is three, enter. Mine's already gone and picked a new part for me anyway, so just gonna stick with that. New part, double checked, three mil down, and accept. Okay, and that's the base in there. As you can see, we got part four now. So rename that to base, enter. Now let's do the lid. You can do the lid one of two ways. You can start the sketch on that, face, extrude it up, or you can start it on this face, draw it in here and extrude it out, or you can start it on this face there, which is what I'm going to do. Right, so sketch, select a sketch plane, I'm going to select that, right click, view normal to sketch plane, zoom out so we can see the whole thing, so look at the measurements, there we go, same thickness, 3 mil thick, 234, by 120. Right, I'm going to use a corner rectangle again. Let's start here. Just a random one. Dimension that's 120 wide. And 3 millimeters thick. All right. As you can see, we place that sketch in that groove there. We can also use the convert entity function we learned, but um, really, this just you don't need to do that. It's fine. Are we happy with that? Click the green arrow. Done. Okay, and we said the length was two thirty four. Back up. Extrude. New part. Select sketch seven or whatever sketch you've got, that is a lid. And make sure it's a new part. Two, three, four. And enter. There we go. That's right, so we got another part now. And that's part five. Right click, rename, call that the lid. All right. Now, before we do the handle, we're gonna mirror this part over. So there's a new function. Um, we don't necessarily want to go ahead and draw another one on this side. It's just too much work. And there's a much easier way to do this, right? So we're gonna use the mirror function. And to do that, we need the plane. So you can see, because we, I'm gonna show the origin again. So you can see the origin's in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and make the right plane visible as well. That's in the middle too, okay? So what I'm going to do is mirror this part 
against this right plane. So it'll essentially create a copy that is mirrored on this side, right? Um, just show you what I mean. So up here near the features, you're going to find this it says mirror. Okay. So I'll click that. Here we go. So we are not adding, we are creating a new part. Entity is the mirror. You can pick this or you can click left side up here, whichever one's fine. Right. And then mirror plane. Click on the right plane. You can click it here or you can click it up there as well. Right. Let's click here for now. You'll see that it just mirrors it up there. Okay. Yes, it's the same color, but it is a new part. All right. Done. Going to hide the right plane. And going to hide the origin. All right. And there you go. Part six. Complete a new part. Right click. Name it. Right side. Enter. There we go. Last thing left to do is to make the handle. Okay, the handle is very simple. It's 120 mil long, 12 mil wide, and 8 millimeters tall because I want it to stick up by a little bit, right, just to differentiate the back and the front of your pencil box. I'm going to base the handle of the top of the lid plane. So sketch, top plane, which is the correct one of the lid, view normal to, we want it in here. So the dimensions on the handle is designed to fit in exactly this spot here, right? So I'm just going to go from point to point, click with my corner rectangle, wait till it locks and click and hit escape. There we go. It's all completely black right now because it's completely defined, it's fully defined. We can always go ahead and double check the dimension. There we go, it's 120, but if I let go and hit enter, it's gonna go gray because it won't let you dimension it because it's fully defined already. Right, click the green arrow because we're happy with that. Extrude, new part, pick the correct sketch. Right, and we want it to go up 8 mil. Back in here. 8. Enter. Enter. Okay. And that part now, right click, rename, go with the handle. Cool. Good job, guys. That is the pencil case. Now, if you want to show the lid open, you can just click the handle and the lid, right click it and hide. There you go. It's a pencil case without the lid. You can show them again, clicking them, right clicking and show. Right. So the main difference between this and the previous model we did is that this has seven parts, whereas the other one had one part. Right. And that is, that's the pencil box. All right, guys. That's it. Have a good one. Stay safe.